the, the Quaker movement is sort of like, you know, an original edition of the network church, right? That it, it from the beginning, has been about this, this life-changing spiritual movement um, where people who are coming alive in these spiritual practices are transmitting that energy and that fire from each node in that network, from community to community to community. Like the, the circulatory system in the body, um, helping the oxygen flow to all the places that it's needed. The, the traveling ministers were and are um, this crucial means of maintaining the wholeness of the tradition um, and of helping the movement um, be aware of itself. Traveling ministry amongst the Religious Society of Friends comes out of the concept that every person is a minister. As we travel in the ministry, what that means is that I have been called to take that of God within me to people outside of my home community. And sometimes that's to another monthly meeting. Sometimes that's to a different yearly meeting. And sometimes that's across the globe. I think it's really important to be able to broaden our definition of Quaker, to be able to broaden who we are as a Quaker. We do that by interactions with people who are not like us. In a world in which we, we typically have our own little <clears throat> kind of maybe cardboard images of Quakers from other traditions, um, what, what we need to get beyond that is to have a person whose life is shaped by some other tradition come and engage with us. For example, I'm accustomed to program meeting. Send me to the unprogram. Send me to the evangelical over there in, in California or the western part of the United States. Send me out so that you can bring something fresh to the people. And I think that's what they're, they're seeking after. Something to renew their minds. A wake up. Meetings can, be, can become very isolated and sort of self-focused. And having a minister come in is just a very opening experience. They provide a new viewpoint that is just really quite remarkable. For Cubans, we were isolated for around 20 to 30 years. So the first time that we received traveling ministers after that isolation was a very big blessing for Cuba yearly meeting. To listen about friends abroad, what are friends doing in other countries? What are their experience? And we felt that we were not alone in the world. <laughs> At first, it encouraged your faith. And that's a very important thing. We have learned to listen. We have learned to be open, to be open-minded to, to other approaches to, to the spirit. It's just a healthy um, and uh, enlarging opportunity for us to, to welcome guests into our home, our Quaker home, uh, receive them with hospitality, even if in a certain sense they might be strangers, and uh, learn from them and give them our own experience to carry to the next place. Friends World Committee on Consultation is starting a traveling ministry corps. This particular group of people will be traveling between the branches of Quakerism to be able to enhance and increase the communication and understanding between the different branches of Quakerism. Traditionally, and, and still in many places today, um, the arrival of a traveling minister would be a reason to have a meeting for worship, because who knew? What, what the spirit was going to do, you know, in that moment, people would 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 get together, um, and often, you know, a meeting that's struggling with a particular issue hears something that they need to hear from that visitor who's coming, or maybe 
maybe there's a gift that person has for, uh, for pastoral care or to recognize someone else in that local community that's just right on the edge of bursting into flame in terms of their, in terms of their spiritual life or their, their direction, their vocation in the world. When we bring in another piece of the puzzle into that community, all of a sudden, maybe we see things a little differently. Maybe we understand things in a new way. Maybe a brand new perspective has been given to us so that us as a community gets to grow also. People from another meeting, even within our own tradition, bring to it a kind of freshness the kinds of questions that we normally wouldn't ask one another. You know, no local community is going to have all the gifts that are needed. This is a way of sharing that uh, much more broadly and trusting that when we open ourselves to God's abundance, we really can be given everything we need.